Morning, everyone. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is a bit croaky this morning, isn't it? Welcome to Compliance Over Coffee. Another sunny day, another melting day. I don't know about you guys, but we're not sleeping very well around here. So I apologize for my tired look. Welcome to Compliance Over Coffee this very sunny Thursday morning. And this morning, I thought we would chat about you, your sourcing company. And now that things are opening up and we're no longer tied into sitting inside and being able to sit there and saying, well, I'm working on things in the background. I'm tinkering around and setting things up for when everything does come back live again. And now that we are getting the ability to come out and start networking again, what is concerning you about your sourcing business? Because all of us will have points in our business that are of concern, that aren't working quite as we expected, or we don't understand quite as well as we thought. Or if it's really, really bad, we're opening up. What on earth am I going to do now? How am I going to make this business a success? I'm here. We've had 18 months of lockdown. I have no idea where I am, I have no idea what I'm doing, and I have no idea where to make a start. And all of these thoughts are going around in your head, and you're trying to do a million and one things, and nothing is pulling together. So I thought what I would do later on today is put a post up in our group where I will make a few suggestions as to where you may have concerns around in your business, and where you guys can come on and add any extras that you feel are troubling you and support might be necessary. And it could be on various topics. You could think that you spent this 18 months that we've had and you've got all of your paperwork in order, you've got your compliance in place, you're really revving up, you wanna get out there, you wanna get investors on board, you wanna start doing a lot of properties, but you've no idea if you go look for the property first or if you find the investor first. You've no idea where to go find investors. You've tried looking on Facebook, but you're getting a lot of negative comments about sources. And there's an awful lot of that around at the moment on Facebook. You're thinking about looking elsewhere. You're wondering about paid marketing on Facebook. You're wondering about leafleting. You're wondering about all sorts of things. And your head is about to go bang and just explode because you don't know what the next step should be. And you can see all of this stuff in front of you, but you don't know what to focus on. And it can be really, really hard work. And Trish and I have been talking about this and we talked about some of the networking last night. So I thought I'd cover it today about what Trish calls goalposts. And the idea around it is a business plan, but not as you and I have ever thought of business plans. And the idea is, is to see where you are right now and mark it and get color coding and then work out what you need to focus on. But it's in depth. It's in depth on topics that you want to thought about. And I know that a lot of you coming out and starting to go out into the community again might have lost a bit of confidence about going and meeting people face to face, might have lost a bit of confidence about actually putting yourself out there and saying what you do, because you haven't done an awful lot whilst we've been in lockdown because you couldn't have that connection. You've lost momentum. You've got some things in place, but you're not sure yet where to look to move forward. So that's what I thought we would address this morning. And as I say, later on, I'm going to put this post up. I'm going to put some options up for you to tick to say, yes, I'm, I'm definitely struggling with this coming out. This is going to be a major problem for me. Or I'm just struggling across the board. I just really don't know what to do type of thing. <clears throat> and then we can, um, in the next few days, I think, Trish will be creating a link for you for, we're going to be putting on a half day workshop, a three hour workshop. And this is not hundreds of pounds. This is not thousands of pounds. This is very, very cost effective. This will be 67 pounds. What we want for you guys is to be able to set you up so that when we're coming out and things are opening up now, that you actually have a plan. You know where your business is. You know the image of your business and what is right, what is in place, what is sound, what is a bit iffy and what is absolutely red and off the scale and you haven't got a clue about. And give you that plan to be able to focus on so that now they're coming out, you can actually drive your businesses forward. Because what Trish and I want for you is for you to have a successful business and have that plan 
to be able to drive that business forward and know exactly where you're going. Have that end journey goal and have the plan to actually get you there. So that's what Trish and I have been talking about for the last week or so. And that's what we mentioned in the networking event last night, which was uh, went down a storm, I have to say, the idea. And we shared with them some of the stuff that will be included in the workshop. But more information about that's going to come out. What I'd like you to do when I post this afternoon is just give me some ideas as to some of the areas that you actually think you're going to be struggling with. It could be lack of confidence. It could be just no idea where you're going at all. It could be marketing. It could be finding investors. It could be packaging it up. It could be doing the calculations. It could be doing all sorts of things around your sourcing business. What is going to trouble you? What is troubling you? What are you concerned about? What are you stressing about? Now that we are, everything's opening up and we're coming back out and we're going back out to work as we were before. What is stressing you out? What are you worried about? What do you think is going to be holding you back in your sourcing business? So that's compliance on the coffee for this morning. We will be back again next week as normal, Tuesday and Thursday. Fingers crossed it's a little bit cooler than it was. I'm not complaining about warm weather. I just want it just a little bit cooler so that I can sleep at night, please. That's it. So that's it for Thursday. Have a fantastic weekend. I'll be back with you next week. But in the meantime, don't forget to look out for this post that I'm going to put up about what is troubling you. And let's get some answers from you all as to what these problems are that you feel you're gonna be facing now that we're coming back out and opening up again. That's it for this morning. Thanks for joining me. It's been great having you along again. See you next week. Have a fantastic weekend. Bye for now.